In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to efficiently manage UTXOs using Nunchuck a mobile Bitcoin wallet. Before we dive in, let's understand what a UTXO is and why managing them effectively is crucial for optimizing transaction costs. A UTXO, or unspent transaction output, represents the output of a transaction that has not been spent yet and can be used as input for a new transaction. Each UTXO has an associated value and a locking script that specifies the conditions under which the funds can be spent. When you initiate a Bitcoin transaction, you typically need to provide inputs, which are UTXOs from previous transactions. If you have a large number of small UTXOs, your transaction may require more inputs to cover the desired amount, leading to a larger transaction size. Larger transactions result in higher fees because they occupy more space on the time chain. Let's compare and analyze the transaction fees associated with two wallets one with consolidated UTXOs and the other with unconsolidated UTXOs. Navigate to your desired wallet. Click on View Coins to see all UTXOs in your wallet. Here you can see the consolidated wallet has one UTXO with a balance of 1 million Satoshis. And the unconsolidated wallet has five UTXOs with a balance of 200,000 Satoshis each for a total of 1 million Satoshis. On the top right, click Select, and choose the UTXOs for the payment. Click Send at the bottom left. On the top right, you can scan the recipient's address via QR code. Alternatively, you can send to multiple recipients. If you have the address as text, don't worry, you can enter it in a later step. Enter the amount in Satoshis or your local currency. Alternatively, you can send the entire UTXO's balance by clicking on Send All Selected. Click Continue. If the recipient address wasn't entered earlier, do it now through QR code or by entering the address. You can add an optional note for future reference. Click on Customize Transaction. Estimated fee is the total fees of the transaction in Satoshis and equivalent in local currency. Total amount includes the send amount and fees. Using subtract fee from send amount, you can deduct the fee from send amount or pay separately. The fee rate is set by default to the highest priority rate. You can choose your own fee rate by enabling the manual fee rate. For this demonstration, we will enter the same fee rate for both wallets to compare the fees. The unconsolidated transaction used five inputs and one output, resulting in a total cost of 38,200 Satoshis. In contrast, the consolidated transaction used only one input and one output, resulting in a significantly lower cost of 11,000 Satoshis. Here's why the unconsolidated transaction incurred higher fees. Each input in a transaction contributes to its size. Therefore, a transaction with multiple inputs tends to be larger in terms of virtual bytes. More inputs and outputs means more data overhead. Each requires additional information in the transaction, increasing the overall size. Several other factors contribute to determining the transaction size, like script type and wallet configuration. For instance, in the case of a multi-signature wallet, the transaction size is directly affected by the number of keys required to sign the transaction. A higher count of necessary keys translates to increased data inclusion in the transaction. Therefore, the overall transaction size is influenced by these factors. Consolidating UTXOs involves creating a new transaction that consumes several smaller UTXOs and produces a single, larger UTXO sent back to one of your addresses. Ideally, you want to consolidate your UTXOs during low transaction fee rates or when it's most economically advantageous for you. Let's see how we can consolidate our wallet. Navigate to your desired wallet. Click on a receive and copy one of the unused addresses. Go back and click on View Coins to see all UTXOs in your wallet. On the top right, click Select and choose UTXOs you want to consolidate. Click Send at the bottom left. Click Send All Selected. Click Continue. Enter the address you copied earlier from the unused addresses. You can add an optional note for future reference. Click on Customize Transaction. Enable the manual fee rate and choose your desired fee, or leave it disabled for default priority fee. I'm going to assume that the fee rate dropped to 10 sats per VB. Review the coin selection, click on Customize to modify or choose different UTXOs. Click Continue. 
Review the transaction, then click on Confirm and Create Transaction. Sign the transaction with the necessary keys, then click on Broadcast Transaction. Now that the transaction has been confirmed, let's go to view coins and see how our UTXOs look like. As you can see we were left with just one big UTXO instead of several small ones. You can click on the UTXO to view its transaction history or coin ancestry, among other features. Congratulations! You've successfully managed UTXOs, optimized transaction fees and witnessed the significant cost difference between unconsolidated and consolidated transactions. Regularly consolidating during low fee periods saves costs and preserves your precious Satoshis. It's important to note that sometimes UTXOs become so small that they won't be enough to cover their fees, rendering them essentially unusable. This phenomenon is known as Bitcoin dust. These tiny UTXOs can become impractical to spend, as the transaction fees might exceed the value of the UTXO itself. To avoid this it's advisable to make transactions with UTXOs above 1 million Satoshis. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial, and until next time, goodbye.